Welcome to another episode of Eric Wake Whiskey Studies, and in this video, I'm going to do a review of a whiskey that I think is one of the best bargains on the market. So this video is part of a series I'm doing on independent Isla whiskeys. This is the Smoky Joe Isla Blended Malt Scotch uh, Whiskey. Uh, some others have already reviewed it, and they really, really uh, liked it. Uh, but when I saw the price of it and then checked around and the price seemed fairly consistent, I was actually, I'm honestly skeptical. Uh, there are some lower budget independent bottles out there, uh, and thus far I've not been overly impressed with them. But this one uh, is done really, really well. But before I get into this, uh, let me tell you a little bit about it. It's a blended malt scotch whiskey, which means it is a blend of single malts from more than one distillery at Isla. The bottler is Angus Dundee, who are owners of Tom and Tool in Speyside and Glen Caddam Distillery in the Highlands. It is non-show filtered, it's bottled at 46% alcohol by volume, and sells for about $37 for a 750 milliliter bottle. Now the, the whiskey does seem a little youthful on, on the nose and on the palate. Uh, but if you've never had new make, uh, I highly, highly recommend if you ever get to visit a distillery, particularly a Scottish distillery, uh, at least sample or perhaps get a bottle of new make spirit. New make spirit is basically the spirit before it goes into the cask. Not that it's something you're going to want to drink or make cocktails from or anything like that, but so you can sort of um, calibrate your nose and your palate so that you recognize uh, the youth of a whiskey. Uh, when a whiskey is, whiskey is really, really, really young, it'll have these green notes, and sometimes from the sweetness of the spirit, it'll have a sort of saccharine, you know, that fake sugar uh, character, sort of like uh, you might find in, in a diet soda. It'll have that character in the whiskey. Now this whiskey does seem a little on the young side, and yet it avoids uh, those characteristics that I, you know, it doesn't offend me. I'm just not a real big fan of saccharine sweetness, nor of those sort of uh, overly youthful notes. So while I like a green character, perhaps some green apple or melon or something like that, uh, and a whiskey, I don't want that youthful greenness in my whiskey. It doesn't offend me. It's just a trait that I don't particularly care for. And there are some uh, younger peated whiskeys out there in which... You know, they'll try to use the smoke to sort of cover up those youth notes. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. More often than not, I come away less impressed. And a lot of times with peated whiskeys, what they're trying to do is appeal to peat fans who are just looking for a big smack upside the head of smoke and peat and who will perhaps not pay as much attention to those youthful notes. But I gotta say, if that's what you're looking for, then just go for broke and get yourself some uh, peated new make. So I do get a little bit of pear, a little bit of apple, perhaps a little bit of a, a tropical note. I get some barbecue smoke, a little bit of saltiness, a hint of nuttiness. But more what I get is a lot of peat, a lot of smoke, a lot of a barbecue. Now, some peats can come across as ashy, as a fire that's already gone out. Some come across with a more savory notes, with a lot of barbecue. This comes across more of, I would say, just a roaring barbecue fire. It does have a little bit of a powdered sugar note, uh, but it's not quite saccharine sweet. On the palate. It is sweet up front. It dries a little bit towards the back, but still maintains a lot of sweetness. But it's not the same intensity of sweetness uh, from the front into the middle and into the finish. The, most of the fruit character is going to be up front. Uh, perhaps some uh, apple, yellow apple, uh, a little bit of perhaps a little bit of stone fruit. Uh, but it really is a smoke uh, and peat forward whiskey. I think it has a real nice mouthfeel. Uh, it's sort of round and silky. There's just a hint of saltiness. And then on the back end, as I'm talking now, I'm getting just a little bit of a nuttiness. It's not quite peanut butter, uh, but it's on the way there. Some salted nuts on, on the back end. And overall, I really, really like this. Now, 
This bottle, I'm now down below the label on it. I've been drinking this whiskey with a little bit of chocolate and while reading a book. And I found it was a little bit dangerous because uh, it pairs so well with chocolate and I'm just enjoying reading a book. Um, and because it's only $37, you can kind of forget the price. It seems readily available, uh, particularly at your large chain stores. So this is a whiskey. I actually had to tell myself, hey, Eric, stop drinking it because you need some whiskey to review. You don't want to complete the tire and bottle and then maybe do <laughs> a review from an empty, empty bottle. Um, so it is a really, really good whiskey. If I were to taste this blind and someone would ask me, okay, how much do you think this costs? I'd probably put it in the 50 to 60 dollar range so if you can get this at only 37 dollars i think it's a real nice value play uh what i'm gonna give it in terms of a score i'll give it a solid 88 points a solid 88 points uh what would i want to get over 90. um it needs more complexities it needs a, a better range of flavors it needs more depth to it uh, but as it is it's a really nice whiskey do i think it's as good as say as an ardbeg 10 uh no N nowhere near that um, but Ardbeg 10 is now $55, $65 and, and going up. So at $37, uh, this is really a nice value priced whiskey that does a lot better uh, than some other value priced whiskeys uh, 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 in this range. So it shows a little bit of youth in the, youthfulness, uh, but it isn't, you know, just, uh, you're not drinking an infant. It's not one to say, hey, somebody needs to put the same back in the cask it's, it's just a really really nice whiskey so if you can find this i highly highly recommend it uh, particularly if you are a peat head Alrighty, uh, if you like watching my channel but you've not yet subscribed ask that you subscribe to this channel ring the bell to be notified when i go live and if you're one of my uh, patreons i want to thank you very much for supporting this channel until next time cheers hey don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos